Alright, so I'll go back to some more Dragon Fable. We're going to continue on with the first Weaver. We have got only three more quests. Uh, we're on Marzana. On Marzana now, so. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember now. I kind of forgot what happened at the end, but yeah. We got another person. We snuck into the Citadel. And Val is gone. Maybe. Forever. Ugh. Lost again. Who builds a huge city with no main road to the Centimus building? It's like a labyrinth. How am I supposed to get into the same, same building? It's the same building? Wait, didn't, didn't his son and his other kids build the... Build the Citadel? <laughs> Such a strapping young lady. Shouldn't wander in the streets by herself. Would you like a guide? Ah, certainly. If you could point... No. Oh, it's him. He's back. <laughs> uh, if only you could see your expression right now. How? I'm in no longer in your body. How can you still exist? I have absolutely no idea. But I'm not complaining. It looks like you're stuck with me, buddy. Whether you like it or not. Is he bound to me somehow? Roya, I can hear your thoughts, remember? Ugh. So, where are we? Ah, you wanted to get to the main building, same. Was it? Give me a minute. Straight, left, left, straight, right, straight, right, left. Why? Are you helping me all of a sudden? Listen, I realized that by annoying you, I was getting nowhere. So I might as well put all that behind and focus on the positives. For the foreseeable future, we will be together. So there is no point in fighting. I... We... Lead the way then. This will be the fourth girl now. You keep saying she's not over one. She's not the one. Over stand over and over. Fuck's it, I'm stupid. This will be the fourth. Oh my god, I didn't click it. <laughs> because I'll know which one it has been when I see her. Why do you. Why do I even need a wife, Secundus? I am perfectly fine on my own. Besides, isn't immortality a path to one? Must travel alone? Warrior, you don't need a wife. You need a woman who is able to give you children. You will not uh, care for these children. They will only be important in the future. And besides, when you achieve your mortality, you'll never be alone anymore. Huh? They're here. My lord, I am so late. I'm terribly sorry, my... Beast N. Quiet, have you brought your daughter? Yes, yes, certainly. Here she is. Uh, well, that's not very good, is it? I mean, unless Ryza Peter, I don't think that's very good. Her age is inappropriate. Appropriate? Oh, I thought that would have said inappropriate, but no. Appropriate. She can bear children if necessary. Uh, mousy blonde hair. I think she is. Ask about her name. What is her name, peasant? Marzana, my lord. Marzana. This is her. This is this is your wife. She will give you three children. Your legacy. What is that you wanted again? Livestock. Our cows died because of the plague. Um. What? Uh. <laughs> that the war is spreading. My wife and I barely are holding on. We have seven mouths to feed. Please, my lord, please help us. I am taking her then. You will get two cows, one sheep, and because I am feeling generous, three bags of grain. My lord, may the shapeless bless you. Oh, my lord, you are saving our lives. Oh, thank you. That. Yes, you can go now. Report that there to the bear on the morrow. Now come, Marzana. 
We need to plan the wedding. He's gonna marry like a four year old. Sounds good. This is the main road. We're almost there. Yes. We are on the right track. He went through here, but. Hmm? He, his spiritual residue is somehow attracting monsters to the main road. I'm playing this Daniel. This isn't good, Daniel. We have to take care of that first. Certainly, it's on the way anyway. Ooh. Oh, I'm a soul weaver. <laughs> I did not know that. Gain avoidance, okay. Actually, come to think of it, it's kind of obvious I'd be a soul weaver. Because he is in Idella. The Idelia, whatever it's called. Wait, what is he? Yeah, I think. <laughs> I lack intelligence, leave me alone. <laughs> Eliminate. I am not very strong. Well, Danielle is not very strong. Hopefully, I do not have to play for Danielle a lot. Fuck you, Danielle. I mean, <laughs> fairy. <laughs> I thought that would be multi-attack. Because it had the symbol like a multi-attack. But it wasn't. Borrow wick. Who am I? Wait. Is it? It looks like I'm attacking the middle one. That I've already squished. Or a week. Does this do damage? No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Never mind. It's done for three turns. Daniel is very boring to use as well. And Daniel is gonna die. I'm like half dead and maybe I'm halfway through the quest. Who knows? But this does not look good. Well, he's not that bad, because he does have like stun, and he can get a good there. He does have stun, and he can have good avoidance. That last six turns. Dang, that's pretty good, actually. Oh, a chest. Uh, interesting. A curve healing, but oh, nice. Can I drink up and take some more? Thank you. Oh, he survived with 15 health. God damn it. I um Avoidance. And a fetish shim off. Rest in peace, Borrowick. <laughs> it's really funny to see him squished on the floor. <laughs> I don't know why. There's, there's like eyeball on it. <laughs> don't know why that humors me, it just does. What's with all these double battles? Okay, that one hurt a lot.
Why does he keep saying my damage count is here? <laughs> That's really weird. I am very happy that these guys don't heal. Well, these peasants, fairies don't heal. Because the Minx fairies are very annoying. I would like some more potions. Please. Thank you. Alright, what's in here? Uh, oh, you look fun. What the hell are you? A Rarug. Awesome. You're like a beefed up fire elemental. Too bad you are dead. Rest in peace, Rarug. Uh, fit. <clears throat> I am dying. Again. I'm very intrigued on what's going to happen at the end of this because we are almost like done with this main story. Well, with this um, chapter, the first Weaver, we've only got two more quests to do. And it feels like it wouldn't be over right now. It feels like we should have a lot more to go. You know what I mean? So it's like, I'm just very curious to what's going to happen because this quest has been pretty cool so far. I like it, but it's a little bit annoying that our character's not like tied in with this. But I think that's what makes it special as well, to be honest, so it's not too bad. It is very unique. There you go. I am like running low on health again. This avoidance ability is pretty good though. <laughs> Six turns of like dodging like almost everything. It pretty much is everything. You haven't even been hit yet. It's pretty good. Right, that guy's stunned, so I might as well kill this one. And I can't. Because I can't click on him. Awesome. Obliterate. Nice, uh, oh there you go, we are done. This looks nice, interesting, look at it, why is it doing that? Two powerful forces fighting for dominance, even then a small piece ripped from the source. So, what now, you just plan to gulp it down with all the Magistrum watching? Don't be silly, Val. I'll kill them all first. There are no guards on the bridge. Disturbing. He's definitely been here already. <laughs> uh, what, what's the plan now? Spam splitting up? Uh, this would be the case if we didn't know where he's heading, yes. But as we've discu um, discussed, you're pretty much sure he's here for the mana card piece. Yes. Then we go to same. Phew. I work at a sweat. This body isn't that powerful after all. I would have thought that plasma magic would at least be more efficient. Well, it's what you get for a 
that are abandoning my body. I miss it already. Your hair, you know. I am. Yes, you're missing an arm. Uh. <laughs> uh. I got so caught up in the moment I didn't realize. Doesn't matter. I won't need this body very uh, any longer. I'm about to be. I'm about to transcend mortality. Uh, this one will not allow it. Ah, uh, I was afraid it wasn't going to be that simple. What the heck is that? This file is the shapeless. Nice. A uh, warrior is held up at the moment. Will Danielle reach him in time? See, that's what's awesome. It's like you have Roya and Danielle, and it's like um, we're kind of playing as both sides, and like we have to see what's going to happen. It's like is Roya going to be victorious and kill Danielle, or is it going to be the other way around? So it's really interesting. Anyway, I think I'm gonna leave it on here. I kinda like the whole like 15 minute sort of thing for the Let's Plays part because it's just gonna make the series a bit longer and people are more likely to watch it when they're a bit shorter anyway, so just how it works. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.